Good morning. This is Cindy and today we are making little booklets. I have some scraps and my scrap boxes are getting very, very full. So I'm going to be making these little booklets out of some of my scraps. I saw a uh, Ta uh, Natasha of Treasure Books do these and I really like them. I have been sticking them in all of my journals. So I have five in my stash, but if you notice my stash is getting full, very full. So I need to start going through and finding some other pieces that I can use to make these books. And I made this little booklet uh, a while back, I, it's a small signature that I was planning to use for a particular purpose. Never made it. I'm going to leave it here because I may yet use it. That's kind of narrow, but that might work. So we'll go ahead and take that piece. We'll take this piece for sure. Uh, that's going to be a little narrow. This is my box of who knows what. There's all sorts of little things in here. These... <laughs> So I did some painting. I did a, a box a little while back of, um, and these were my cloths, my paper towels that I was just using as I was painting. Um, I, this was my brush, if, if you were. I would put the paint on it and then put it on, my, on the box. And I went right through and in fact painted my finger. Um, and I think they look really cool. Oh, that's from the Captured Time journal that I just did. And so is that, but I don't think I want to use it. This is a little wide, but this will make good journal cards. Oh, there's a good piece. That's some stock. That's a little dark, but what the heck. Let's put it down here. Who knows what's going to end up being in this journal. I'm just pulling pieces that are in here. There's a couple of long white pieces. We'll pull a couple of those out. Um, obviously, I've been doing some teal stuff. That's a little wide as well. I can cut it down, but the point is to use up stuff that I currently already have. This is my, I have my other pieces kind of shoved in here. Like I said, this is a box of who knows what. All right. So I have all of these pieces now out of which to choose. This one's already folded, so I, that one's a little bit big for one of these, but we could do a big one. I, you know, I'm not opposed to that, uh, especially since I have so many longer pieces. This is, and they're very, you really, you just go through your scraps, you find what you have, and you put together what Ever you want to put together. So there's a piece. This this would be a long piece and since I've got all of these teal colors and they're all relatively long, I think I'm going to leave them long. I'm going to leave them just as they are. I'm at the edge of my workspace here. And it doesn't, they don't have to be the same size. In fact, it's kind of cool when they're not. So do I have something here that's a little smaller? There we go. And it still fits in with my colors. Kind of makes, and these are, they're not very many. I, I don't want any more than six, for example. Now, see, those colors don't match. This has got kind of a neat scalloped edge. It's a little bit wider. I don't know if the color goes as well. This one obviously goes with that piece. No, it doesn't. Oh. No, it doesn't. Okay. Oh, here we go. That goes nicely. Okay. So I have one, two, three, four, five pieces in here. And I think that might be enough because five pieces. Five times four, that gives me 20 different writing surfaces. Um, so I'm going to leave that one just as it is. I'm going to set that one aside for now. Um, I have this rather long piece here that I really, this is from the Captured Time Journal. 
that I just finished off. I love this wallpaper. It's 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 not wallpaper. It's really paper paper, but it feels like wallpaper. It's got that textured feeling to it, which is very cool. I have this other sheet of white, so we'll go ahead and put that in because that will fit just fine. Although I might want that as my cover, so I think I'm going to go this way. What can I put inside? I have this piece. Like I said, it's very. It's it may be too short because these are longer ones. I can do shorter ones. I can do. I mean, you saw these. They're all different sizes. That one's got a little piece of lace in it. Um, so some are short, some are long, some are oriented more this way, some are more oriented, you know, landscape versus portrait. You really do whatever flops your mop. Ah, uh, come on. I can't get it to open up. There we go. I don't know that I like that. I think it might be too, too tall. But you know what? I can get two out of here. Put my thing down here. I'll just go to approximately halfway. And I will cut this one. And I'll just throw that one in there. In the middle. It's just a little surprise. Just a little one in there. Okay. I have my craft paper, which I don't know what I will use this for. And obviously it is not um aligned so i will and and to be honest it doesn't matter whether it's aligned or not you can do it so that it isn't um but i think i for the, these i want them lined up to a certain extent so i'm going to go ahead and chop that i just threw that paper right on the floor This is another obviously large one, two, three, four. I have only blues left. Hmm. And I like those blues together. They're going to make their own. I dropped the red paper. Let me grab that. Okay. We could easily throw this inside. I'm not obviously doing the heavy duty folding yet. I'm just at this point putting them together to see what I have, what I might like, what I don't like. Okay, I like the fact that that kind of can be covered up a little by the, well, maybe not. Okay, adjust these and see what it looks like. Adjust that white in there. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so there's two. And this will really get rid of a lot of these extra big pieces. Now, this one's really cool. It's textured. It's very textured. It's also very old. So it's a little yellowed on the inside. So we'll go with it. Why not? Now, obviously, I could cut these down kind of like that. Oh, there we go. Doesn't that look nice? Got this other piece of white. Oh, no, it's not white. It's green. Hmm. And it's a little bit long, I think. It might be too long for this. I might have to cut off a little bit because I don't know that I want it to stick out too much. We're going to leave it for now. I have, these are both exactly the same color, but this one's a little bit narrower in width. So I'm going to go ahead and use this piece rather than that one. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. See, those go nicely together. Do they go nicely with the teal? Mm, maybe not so much. Something just fell. I don't know what I just dropped. All right, so we're going to leave those. I'm going to put this one back into my stash. Sorry, guys, you go back in there. And I'm going to pause for a moment while I find a couple more papers to finish these two off. 
Okay, I've gotten out my big paper stash. Uh, this is, these are all papers that are much larger. That is also from my Capture Time video. There's some more of that tealy, purpley color, so we'll take that. And we'll, these, uh, these are going to have to be cut down. Uh, you know, these are these are just too wide. I love that starry expanse. Uh, bugs. I don't think I want bugs. There's some more blue tealy kind of stuff. Uh, what else do we have in here? Those are some sayings, some butterflies. I have some more of the blue tealy. That's actually in the wrong spot, so we'll re take that out. Hmm. Don't know that that's going to work, but what the heck? Oh, here we go. Here's some more of the teal. See, these are big pieces, so they might work better as, um, there's some butterflies. They might work as um, actual journal pages, so I'm kind of not sure what I want to take. These are from one of the very first journals that I've made. I have this really cool thing and I haven't yet figured out how to use it. I'm going to take it out because if it's in here, buried, I'm never going to use it. A little bit of vellum. Oh, another sheet of that. Obviously, some things have been misput. Take that one out. Yes, this is from a Daisy Wheel printer. This is old printer paper that I have been using up and I'm absolutely loving the Daisy Wheel pieces. Okay, I've got some hand paper. This is uh, handmade paper, but I don't think I want that for this. It's not really very strong. Oh, look, and I got a whole bunch of Daisy Wheel stuff in the bottom. All of this stuff is misplaced, which I'm not going to go through and deal with completely right now, except that I want this paper out. Okay. I guess I can grab it all pretty quick and easy, which only means that that other bin is way too full now and really needs some major going through. Okay, so that's my big bin. And I found some papers. Let's see what we can do with them. So these are the two that I'm looking at. And I'm thinking that would go very nicely in there again, maybe, or maybe not. Now that I'm doing these other big, bigger pieces here, I have this larger piece, which might go with that one. This piece. Mm. Oh, yeah, that goes better there. Okay, we'll set that aside. These are just two plain white pieces that I've already got a white piece in here. No, I don't. I don't have a white piece anywhere. Okay, so this is actually from photo paper so we'll fold these up and put one in here and we'll fold that one up and put this one in there so that one's done i have this nice piece of craft paper i actually i think this is not so much craft paper this might have been a paper bag pretty sure this was a paper bag Okay, and that's a little bit too long, so we're going to take a little bit of off the end. It'll, I know some of you are saying, yeah, but that's such a cool torn corner, torn end. Yeah, but I don't think I want torn end on this particular one. So, done. We'll throw this in here. We're up to four on this one. And one, two, three, and four on this one, because I will be putting that in. I also have this piece, which I think I will be putting in here as well. Okay, so I have these two pieces, three pieces. This is the wrong blue for both of them, so we're going to just set that aside. That's not going to happen. Same thing with the butterflies. They're not going to happen. Uh, purple. It might go in there. Uh, and I think yeah, it might go in there, but I don't know if I need it. So we'll just set that aside for the moment. You notice I have my other boxes up because eventually these have to be decorated. But first, these are just the little signatures, if you will. All right, let's set that one aside for the moment. And we'll work on getting a couple of strips for this one. This one doesn't bother me to rip up some more because obviously I've taken out pieces from it in the past. 
And in fact, I know what I made pieces of this from. This is from, I'll just take it right down that side there. Then we'll see from there. Um, I have a couple of boxes that I covered with this material. So do I want this piece in there? Or do I want this piece in here? Kind of big, too big. I like the size of this one better. This one has this little piece and I'm gonna take it off only because if I don't, when I try to put it in the journal, it's only going to rip off anyway. So it might as well rip. And I don't mind the edge. I think I, I like the edge. Okay, so I intended to use the other side, but that other side is awfully big and I can, it's not so much of a scrap. So I'm gonna use this part and we'll slide that in there. Sorry, that goes back in the box. Ah, and I was thinking about, let's see, this is, now, but see, this is not perforated. This has got a little line on it, but it's not perforated. And so I'm going to go ahead and take that. That way I've got a nice big sheet still. And I get rid of my black line of perforation that isn't perforated on a piece of scrap. A win-win, as it were. Okay, so how many does this make? That makes one, two, three, four, five. I can put one more in here if I want. Just kind of lining them up some. So these are obviously bigger pieces to go into a journal, which is fine with me because I a lot of the ones I do are have been doing are really small. So these are my, this one is six inches. Well, yeah, duh, I could have figured that one out. I was using a twelve-inch piece of paper. Okay, so it you know I. A little slow on the uptake, what can I say? And I can throw that in there again. Although to break up that white, because I've got white and white. There we go. We'll throw that in there. And it breaks it up a little bit. Okay, so there's six. That one's done. Okay, this particular one has one, two, three, four pieces to it. And Again, this piece is rather large and could be used as a journal piece, but I'm going to take just a section of it. Because the big piece can, it, it's this one's rather thin. So if I do it as a journal piece, I have to back it and really be careful with it. So I don't mind throwing it in here. Okay, now where to throw it in here? Okay, let's see what we got. We got one, two, three, four, five. I have this piece too, which I could put in, but I think I want to keep that out. I'm not going to. All right, so now the next phase is stapling these pieces and I have a long handled stapler so it's relatively easy to do I'll wait and do that one because I still only have five in there I might only stick with five but okay so I want to first thing I want to do is line everything up am I in frame yes I am line everything up so that I'm because it's these these pieces in the middle that are not quite, and I want to, because I want the nice part of the staple to be on the outside. And I'm only going to put a single staple in. That's all that I'm putting these together with. One single staple, done. So now it's together, and that's really all that's needed for it. <clears throat> this piece, just double checking, one, two, three, four, five. This one also only has five. Hmm, but 
I have this piece which might go in it. Hang on. I might have. I'm uh, just looking over here. I have this piece, which is. Um, this was also a misprint. I did this on the wrong kind. It was a, uh, it's a digital, and I, I did it on the wrong kind of paper. It's just regular computer paper, so it's it doesn't have any fanciness to it or any any heft to it. Fanciness. What the heck? Where is your brain? Okay. All right. So I'm making sure everything is reasonably centered. Put that over just a little bit more. There we go. Okay, my my uh, off sheet here, my other printed sheet is not quite right. This is the part that takes the most amount of time. It's just lining things up. Okay, we are lined up. Okay, and this is just a little bit longer, so I need to move my guide. I'm going to about to do it backwards. I know. You were screaming at me, weren't you? There we go. There. That's another one together. Mother, how many? See, I don't know if I put five or six in these now. One, two, three, four, five. I only did five in here, too. Well, maybe we're going with five for some of these. There we go. That, there we go. The dark surface is going to be harder to write on, but I do like it as a cover. So you have five. I guess we'll go with five. And I want to bring this one a little bit more center. Why do I think I have four? Oh, because I have five on the outside. It's just short. You know, and it doesn't matter if they're perfectly symmetrical. I could, you know, you could do it however you feel with these. There. All right. Let me set this aside. So I now have four new little books. And what I am going to do really quickly, I don't, like I said, I don't have a bone folder. I don't much care for them. I don't much care for them. I don't have one. I just, so, you know, I don't know if I like it or not. Um, but I can just kind of do this to it a little bit. I probably should have done this before I stapled them. But this helps them lay flat a little bit using my old credit card for a store that, at least in this area, no longer exists. I miss Sears. I was a big Sears shopper ever since I was a little kid. And I remember my parents getting so frustrated sometimes with the, with the Sears but credit card and all. But I we loved Sears. And walking in on the Monroe Avenue store in Rochester, and you'd walk in the back entrance, and the first scent that would hit you would be roasted peanuts. Oh! It was wonderful. I miss that. I miss stores that do that. You'd go into Grant's and it would be the smell of popcorn. Oh, stores need to do that again. Because I just miss that. I miss those smells. Alright, so I have two in the blue family, two in the green family. Uh, they just need decoration now. And I have... All of these little pieces that I can use to decorate with, you know, because I'm, I'm going to decorate them up the same way you would a regular journal, but no pockets. I'm not doing pockets or anything like that. These are designed to slide into a pocket. So you really do want to keep them rather flat, but I might do some stamping in here, um, put some, do some washi tape, do some little pieces, glue some little pieces in. Um, but in general, keep them fairly simple because they're not the journal itself. They are add-ons into your journal. 
All right, so that's one way to use up some of your larger scraps. If you have smaller scraps, like I said, I did these with smaller scraps. Um, and I think, you know, little tiny scraps. This one is decorated in a musical fashion. I put some musical stickers in there because I had musical uh, paper. I had some staff paper in there. So this one is decorated. You know, again, just whatever you happen to find. So this one is flowers because there are, I had the flower paper in there. So I put little flower stickers everywhere. And so, oh good, I put that flower sticker on upside down. Oh well, or maybe that's the front. There we go, that's the front. Ha! So there's the front. So you can really decorate them any way you want. This one is, I think also upside down. Yeah, this one just has a little smiley. I put a little spot, a writing spot there because that was black paper. So, peek -a You know, you just you just do whatever you want with these. So these are little, these are bigger. They still are going to need to be designed or, or decorated. Excuse me, they are designed. All right. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and uh, go ahead and hit the bell for notifications. I do have an Etsy store. These are not specifically for sale the way they are. They will be in other journals that will be for sale. Um, in fact, most of the journals that I have for sale do have one of these in it or something similar. So make sure you check out my Etsy shop. Etsy shop. Can't talk today. And this is Cindy signing off.